Welcome back everyone to Rogue Legacy! My name is Bear, and last time we played we had a decent go of it here, and uh, oh hey, now I've got some explaining to do. So, lost a little bit of footage, and uh, we are now taking on Sir Kataki, who is the uh, direct bloodline ascendant of a former Barbarian King. Did indeed unlock the Barbarian King, which means I have this! The Faradus, which is obviously not in any association with the game that you may be familiar with. And uh, we have now begun a new stratagem down through the next area, and I went a little bit farther down before I realized we had lost the footage. So we're going to have to take that as it is and move right along with it. I'll try to briefly explain the upgrades I was able to come across in the uh, run prior. But you didn't miss much. It was probably about seven or so minutes of nothingness. I uh, got about maybe halfway through the castle before dying and before... <laughs> oh, it was so fun! It was a blast, you guys! But we're back at it and we're gonna get hit by Doom Boss just over and over because I can't seem to freaking get past these guys. Holy cow. Okay, so the very chest objective here is to take no damage and that... Oh my gosh, that was freaking close and there it goes. God, that is... That's a ridiculous room to make that freaking suggestion in. Honestly, game. How can anyone do that ever? And look at this! Look at this! How can anyone do that? Well, I guess if I just sprint through, but no, it's... Oh, man, I might even freaking die here. Look at this guy. Holy cow. He is tough to deal with. And I just took so much damage. It's not even worth coming through here, seriously. This straight up is killing me. Holy crap. How in the hell could anyone ever do that? Those things don't end. They continuously chase you down, and now I'm at 31 health. That is unreal. Okay, we're going to go ahead and blow everything up. Throw an axe, because why not? A doom boss to deal with. Good. These freaking skeletons, man. They can really throw you off if you're not paying attention to them. Got 340 gold. I'm going to stay alive, damn it. I refuse to let this be the end of me because of that ridiculous fairy chest room. So now we just got a couple of mages to deal with downstairs. The fire guy, I believe, can shoot through the wall, so we got to be uh, prepared for that. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let's uh, not jump into the spikes, thank you. And he's just one hit away from dying, so we'll go like that. Brilliant. Okay. Another Faradus if I... Uh, oh, I can't actually do it anymore. Let's see. Uh, get down here. Hit that guy a couple times. Brilliant. I love that the gigantism which this guy has uh, gives him a much broader sword strike range, so that's a big bonus. Let's get, get that one more hit. Brilliant. Okay. Really starting to uh, learn how to test my boundaries here. And there's some more health for us. That's all well and good. MP is good as well. And there's, uh, oh, the land of darkness. I don't know if I want to go there just yet. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Get through the rest of the castle first. We haven't even beaten the castle boss. That's probably something we want to try out. And maybe I can get a little bit more health before I go inside of there. There's some more. Let's speak of the freaking devil. And there's one more room over here I have not yet accessed. And this looks like something that can help me out. Will I pray for assistance? Yes, I will. Calypso's compass yet again. So we get to find out what in the hell Calypso's compass actually points to. Hopefully this time. I'm gonna give it a... Uh, Quick look over in this direction. Perhaps there's another door I missed completely over here. I don't know if that's the case. So let's have a look at the map here. Yeah, it is the case. All right, so let's go this way because the game is asking me to do so. We can just jump down like this, put these things down, not get hit by the giant spiky ball of doom, and we have something cool here to get. Hopefully, there's some more health for me. That's awesome. I'm not going to take any more damage, man. I swear it. Oh, God. That's... <laughs> I freaking knew that would happen. As soon as I assert my dominance, the game smacks me in the mouth like a little whore. Boom, bam. There he goes. This isn't a problem. I've got a broader range than that guy, which is awesome. We've got almost a thousand gold here, which is probably our best run yet. We might have had one that had a little bit more than that, but I'm still proud of it. We've got quite a few more directions to go here as well, so I'm going to continue following Calypso's compass and hopefully find some goodies. There goes that guy. Oh, he can actually hit me from down there. I wasn't aware of that. There's some... Oh, a hundred gold in that one. That's awesome. Uh, the compass is still pointing me in this direction, so I guess I'll continue to follow it. Because I got no other sense of guidance to follow back, so why not? Although, uh, this is the dead end here, apparently, so what I want to do now is try out this direction. Oh, there's this guy here now. Holy crap. Um, throw an axe, I guess. That didn't hit him at all. Wow, this guy is gonna be tough. Okay, let's try it out, I suppose. 
Why not give it a whirl, right? You can see if my uh, abilities match up with the strongest of enemies here. Oh, he's just slayed me, dude. <laughs> wow. Sirkataki has been slain by Botus. Well, I'm okay with that, you know? That was a decent run there. So I'll show you guys what's up here. So Sir Kaima was my uh, my misfit run with the determined barbarian king, and now the gallant Sir Kataki has been felled as well. We have now Lady Sonia II, who remembers things with extreme clarity and has dextrocardia, but she's a shinobi, deals massive damage, but I cannot crit. Interesting. We have the spellcaster, who's nostalgic. Ooh, I wonder what that means. I'm kind of tempted to take that one out. She can't see in 3D, and she's very flexible, and she launches orbs that bounce everywhere. Ooh, I like that one, too, actually, Assassin. Uh, the Archmage with Nostalgia, or this Lady Stephanie with Stereo Blindness. I, uh, I'm gonna go eeny, meeny, miny, Sir Seller. I like that. The Flame Barrier is a good option, too, but let's go ahead and look at the options we have for upgrading him. We can get the Gold Git, I think. That might be one that we can obtain now. Oh, that's just short of what we have. That's a bummer. Uh, upgrade the Miner to the Spelunker, not quite accessible yet. Ooh, the Haggle! Lowers Chiron's toll by learning how to barter with death itself. Ooh, I like that! We can keep a little bit of money every time we go through that. Probably it will uh, add up pretty soon. Uh, we also have the Crit Chance up is a good option, but we can turn up our magic damage as well. I like that too. Let's go ahead and get the Chiron upgrade. Ooh, he builds up another tower here, too. What do we got with this? Uh, upgrades the shinobi, becomes a leader of a village, and turns your shinobi into a hokage. Believe it! Oh, that gives us the shinobi upgrade. Okay, I like that. And now... Oh, I can't even... Can I access this, I wonder? There we go. Unlocks the Lich, a being of infinite potential. Very interesting. We don't have enough to get anything else, so I guess that'll call it good. Ooh! Sepia tone! That's the nostalgia element, isn't it? I like that. Can we get anything from the Enchantress, I wonder? I don't think we can. That's 350 for the dash. No good. All right. Away we go, then. Over to Kauron, who will allow us to keep nine or 6% of our money, so I kept 8 gold. Almost worth something. But I think if we upgrade that a little bit more, it'll probably be worth more in the end. Now we're up to 18, so look how it's already benefiting me. Love that. All right, so we have an Archmage here, which means we want to use magic as much as we possibly can, and that guy just jumped right into my line of fire. Ooh, hey, look at this. I like this ability. We're gonna just run right into enemies. Okay! We can totally use this to our advantage here. Freaking Doomvoss just got annihilated by my flame. Oh, wait a minute. It sucks up my MP as I use it. Oh, crap. I needed to deactivate that. Well, that was a bummer. Okay, so no, we now have a mage that has no more magic. That sucks. But we are getting it back for each kill we get, so I guess there's a benefit to it. There we go, and let's take these things out. Brilliant. All right, so we're back up to 30. So, can I activate it and then deactivate it? Yeah, I can. All right, so we just got to... I tested that and used all of my MP in, again in the process, unfortunately. Definitely don't want to deal with those guys just yet. We're not quite strong enough to take them down. Oh, hey, this is a possibility, though. So let's... Oh, God, that was silly. All right. Ugh. Avoid the bones. Avoid the bones. Don't eat the bones. That's how the commercial works. There we go. And we got a chest down here as well, which contains a whole bunch of money. Fantastic. So, away we go again. We've got 33 MP. If this guy had that uh, hypochondria or whatever the hell it is that switches his HP and MP, that would have been good for us this run. But uh, holy crap, what on earth? What is that guy's deal? Solok creates some massive freaking fireballs, man. I don't think I can even avoid that. What on earth? How can I kill this guy without taking a whole heaping amount of damage? Um, oh, I bet I can avoid these. Okay, hang on. I'm guessing that, like, kills you in one hit, so I just totally got a bunch of goodies from this. Alrighty. Absolutely worth it. Now we've got our flame barrier back for just a little bit if I need it. Go ahead and... Oh, wait, that's the entrance. I'm silly. You have to go this way, it looks like. Some MP, yes, that is welcome. And there's a money bag as well. I like that. Okay, so we just gotta time this properly. Wait for it to go in the other direction, and I'm gonna run! Oh, what the hell? How did that hit me? That was ridiculous. All right, well, we got three hit points left, so this guy's nostalgia is likely to become uh, destalgia very soon. I made up that word. Sorry for the uh, frame rate drops here temporarily, guys. I guess the game has a hard time handling the uh, nostalgia of sepia tone. Oh, wait a minute. That's my flux kicking in. Hold the horses here real fast. 
Sorry about that. We're just going to disable that, and then everything's going to be good to go. Okay. No problem. I'm just going to pretend that that didn't even happen. All right. Let's not get hit by this fella. No problem. There we go. Some more MP in the process. This is a very dangerous room. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Don't get hit by this. Excellent. That table was extremely convenient for me to stand on right there. And over this way now, oh, Doomvas. Oh my goodness. There he goes. Oh wow, that nearly hit me in the head. That would have been the end of the day here. No worries though. Mr. Nostalgia lives on to fight. And don't hit me in the head, thank you. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that, and that is totally worth it, honestly. Worth the cost by a long shot. Oh goodness, that was so close as well. Wow, we are narrowly escaping death, and there's a little bit more health to recover for me. Now let's not die here. This will not be my my befalling. Good, good, good. There goes those guys. Excellent. Some more cash down here for me. I'm avoid all these messy, messy spike traps. Some more health. Excellent. Uh, okay, there we go. No problem. We're good. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm just panicking. It's all. Oh, jeez. All right. Nothing in those, unfortunately. We only have 638 gold. I could have sworn we were racking up a little bit more. There's some MP. Welcome to me. So yeah, definitely what I've noticed is that uh, the more Mac. Whoa, these guys. These guys. Wow. Look at those massive pillars they create. They're not actually that difficult to dodge, so I guess this isn't the worst situation until they do that. <laughs> Sir Seller has been slain by Barbato. So, God, okay. Here we go. Select a new heir. Sir Colt the Shinobi. I would like to use a Shinobi, actually, but he's colorblind and dyslexic. I don't know about that. Lady Antoinette II is an OCD assassin with Quantum Trance Relocator. Not the best ability there. And another Chakram with EDS, Stereo Blindness, and a Miner. Oh, hey, that's another option we've got here. Let's use the Miner. I like that. And uh, now we have the option of using 648 gold to upgrade what? Attack is probably a good idea. It's good to be strong. But then again, we have a Miner here, so that's not entirely necessary. Potion Up is cool, but not worth it. Uh, oh man, if I could upgrade the miner to a Spelunker. Let's go ahead and give myself a uh, health upgrade and we'll call that good. I'm going to hang on to 6% of this, which is going to translate into probably 4 gold or something like that. 13, that's not bad. That's 10 gold that we achieve without doing anything. I'm alright with that. So this guy should be... Oh, he's getting a bonus amount of gold for everything he finds. I like that a lot. Okay, so, oh, hey, <laughs> that's the stereo blindness. He can't see in 3D, I love that. That is such a cute little quirk. All right, so we don't want to fall down there for sure. Um, he's got the little, like, spinny boomerang abilities, so uh, really he doesn't want to battle anything, though. I mean, like, as long as we can avoid combat, that is, that'll be much more beneficial to us. I'm just going to try to find some goodies here and uh, not die. And we have a journal entry here. I cannot exit through the front gate, but that is of little concern. I am committed to my cause and will not back out. So far, none of the maps I've found coincide with my own. Yet upon comparing them as a whole, I believe I have unearthed a slight pattern. It seems the forest is always to the right, the tower above. And below? Well, hopefully I won't have to find out. Ominous. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of gold with this guy, I've decided. I'm gonna have a successful run as the miner. I refuse to think otherwise. Let's get through there, guy. Okay. That was so dangerous. Whole bunch of goodies, though. Excellent. And, oh, we have a uh, very interesting proposition here with an evil Doom boss that's going to hit me a lot if I'm not careful. Oh, he hit me anyway. Dear goodness, he is powerful, and I am so silly. Wow. Well, let's go ahead and grab this money just in case he decides to annihilate me here. And, uh, oh, you know what? I can use this thing. There we go. A little bit of damage. Oh, that didn't work quite well, though. Let's go like this. There we go. He's finally dead, but the money fell into the wall, unfortunately. Gotta get some more cash, man. Gotta find what we can before we die. Because this miner is not outfitted for combat. That is for damn sure. Let's go ahead and use our magic, because why not? And uh, this skeleton guy shouldn't be too hard to deal with if I have any sort of abilities at all. There we go. Okay, go ahead and kill him as well, and uh, if I can just jump past this guy here, that was close. 
Not worth the combat. All right, a little bit more magic. We're gonna go ahead and go down here wherever this is in the land of darkness and immediately be killed by a, by a pyrite. All right, well, we actually got quite a bit of money as a result of that. We have Sir Dude, the second Lady Faye, and Lady Stephanie, who is an endomorph, and she's very talented with a few issues. She's a savant, interesting. Let's go with the Shinobi, I think. I'm not even gonna look at the other ones, I like this. And uh, we have 403 gold, which is not even really anything. Honestly, this is totally worthless, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a magic damage upgrade from that and be good with it. We need to find ourselves some blueprints, man. Look how fast she is, wow, that's cool. So she does a bunch of damage, I feel like, too. Saving four gold from our process for the Chiron, or Chiron. I keep wanting to call him Chiron because of that song, you know it. We all know it, and I'm not going to explain it. Let's move forward. Holy crap, okay, um, this is a very dangerous room, and a dangerous selection of rooms, honestly. Ooh, look at her one-shotting those ice mages, I like that. Another journal entry here, let's go ahead and blow these things up and we'll see what happens. Number six. I have never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies on an open field in plain sight. But now I find myself braving these darkened gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other by my hilt. I can never tell what horror lies beyond each corner. I am the greatest swordsman in all the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them, for it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have the fortitude to survive these halls. So freaking... Narcissistic! Our brother, or sister, or what have you. Kill this guy. Oh man, this guy is strong, slash lady. Sorry, what is your name? Lady Stephanie. Lady Stephanie is a powerful warrior, the best swordsman in all the land. Swordswoman. Sword! I love saying the W. It's one of my favorite things of ever. Now, it's time to not be hit by the fireballs! Yes! Expert dodging by Lady Stephanie. Ho hum! Onward we go. Onward we trudge. And man, she is powerful. I am digging this. I can freaking rock it with Lady Stephanie, man. I'll tell you what. She's got a decent amount of health, too, so that's good. No Doom Voss there. I'm gonna just... Oh, this is tricky. Uh, oh, I figured that would happen. All right, that's fine. No big deal. Holy crap. Uh, I guess we're gonna take some damage there, and then nothing happens. You gotta be kidding me. Really? That was all for nothing. How do we even get through this? Like, that? Oh, God. I don't even understand that. Okay. That was just a big F you from the game, it feels like, and we don't even have enough money to really get anything. Ooh, a time stop. I like that. She moves faster, and she's a shinobi as well. A walking tank uh, with dementia. That'll be interesting. A savant again, and another walking tank. This is Lady Henrietta III. Ooh. Let's go ahead and go with her. I like that. Savant is interesting as well. 314 gold gives us pretty much nothing. In fact, I don't think I can afford a single upgrade. That is a bummer. Yeah. Well, no oh well. Time to move forward. Can't afford anything from this guy, I don't think. Uh, yeah, he's got the best he can offer me right now. So I'll hang on to 6% of this, which will be freaking uh, something like 19 gold. Hey, look at me doing math. Castle Hampson, here we come. We've got a tank this time, and I'm ready to take on all comers. 263 hit points of pure pain. Now, let's not get hit by a missile straight away. I freaking betray my own desires. Oh, we've got a big fella here, though. Uh, we can go ahead and take him out from the top. And uh, bam, boom, double hit, double kill. Now, oh, this is a very difficult scenario here. Let's see. Oh, I don't even want to attempt that. Last time we tried to traverse something like this, it killed me and didn't have any payout. So I don't know if I even care enough, but as I say that, I make my way daintily over to the other side, and I guess I'm gonna find out what this has in store for me. Let's kill this guy real quick. Those guys aren't that tough. I was expecting a lot more damage out of them, or to, for them to take a lot more damage, rather. Haven't used my ability yet, which is the, uh, oh God, that guy was tricky. There we go, got the money out of it at least. And jump slay this feller. There we go. Go ahead and use my... Uh, oh, that's the axe. That's right. Okay, I like the axe. It's a very w good one for me. Now I'm going to have to go all the way back through this, unfortunately. But I did get a, quite a bit of gold out of it. So I suppose that's all worth it in the end. And I'm going to hope that this does not kill me. As I try to sneak my way past everything. I think we've found the proper course for it. Brilliant! All right, I got through the whole thing unscathed. I'm pretty proud of that. 
Now, got a couple of freaking enemies to deal with here. Oh, hey, this is this is not the axe ability. These are. Wait a minute, does he? Oh, he changes moves every time. Cool. I like that. It's an interesting proposition game. I am on board. Let's just go ahead and kill that guy from above. There we go. Now I'm kind of seeing where being an endomorph or the uh, just the dude who doesn't knock enemies back could be kind of a benefit when you're in a situation like that where you don't really want to knock them down off their platform. You'd rather just keep them up there to uh, slay them without having any risk of taking damage yourself. So I might want to try that out next time I have the option of taking a guy that's super skinny or uh, rather super weak in that respect. This guy is going down as soon as I counted the whale with all to actually hit him. That would be beneficial. So uh, with the Savant, as you guys can see, we uh, we get new abilities every time we uh, use an attack like this. Unfortunately, I'm completely out of mana right now, and I'd really like to kill these guys, but they are dealing a hell of a lot amount of damage. So let's go ahead and stay up here if at all possible. That's not looking like it's going to happen, though, as he murders me. Lady Henrietta has been slain by Focalore. I'm going to take down one of those big enemies, damn it. At some point or another, that's going to happen. Sir Eric is a hypochondriac. You tend to exaggerate. <laughs> He's got dwarf dwarfism as well. IBS with Dextracardia for the minor. It doesn't really matter for a minor, so I guess that's kind of worthless. Stereo Blind, Barbarian King Sir Wallace, and Sir Eric the Dwarf Hypochondriac. Let's go with the Hypochondriac. I'm kind of wondering what the exaggeration is going to really entail. 579 gold. Let's go ahead and get the Dash ability. I like that idea. Go to the Enchantress and pick this up. We can press LT or RT to dash. I, I thought it was going to tell me something, but I guess not. Ooh, we can do an Air Dash, too. I like that. Sweet. All right, Karan. Take my money and run. This is going to come in uh, quite handy, I think, but we've got a dwarf character who, unfortunately, is going to have a much shorter range, but I think he also has a much shorter hitbox as a result, so I'm kind of willing to take that trade off. And he does quite a bit of damage still, so it's not like we're sacrificing too much. Uh, yeah, it looks like he... Uh, it'll be much harder to actually hit our foes, but he's, he will still be much harder to hit himself, so I'm quite all right with that trade. I'm not sure actually that's the case. I'm thinking maybe the hitbox stays exactly the same regardless of how big you are because it kind of looks like he's hitting enemies and he's either barely within the range of the attack or he may just be hitting in the same area regardless of how, how big he is. So I guess we'll find out. The hypochondria has not yet set in. I'm guessing that'll happen when he actually takes damage. He'll do something like scream bloody murder or something like that. That would make me chuckle. Chortle hearty guffaw. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I think it. I'm pretty damn sure the area of hit is changed. Wow, he. Uh, oh, he <laughs> the. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that. It said he took 1,350 hit points of damage when really it was far from that. So that's the hypochondria setting in. I like that. Okay, so let's not get hit by this thing again. There we go. We can uh, actually uh, get up here. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, 3,200 damage. No, thank you, man. All right, let's get a bit more gold here. Face this direction. The Doom Boss shall be slain if I am able to reach his filthy grasp. Oh, goodness. Come on, stop circling and meet your maker. There we go. Oh, come on now. That's no fair game. All right, let's see here. I can totally avoid this. There we are. Got it. And we're going to go up here and see what kind of goodies await in the upstairs lounge. What do we have here? We have a turret that hit me right in the face and a freaking Charite guy's ready and waiting. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. It's all good in the neighborhood. If these guys doubly, I bet I can just go ahead and throw an axe like that and I'll take care of the corrupt knight. Okay. It's not going so bad. Still got about 80% of our health left. Not too worried about that, although the dwarfism is actually starting to rear its ugly head as a very significant disadvantage when you're looking for ranged attacks, so uh, we'll have to compensate for that by being better at the game. Okay, and that does not... <laughs> Let's see how much damage this deals to these guys. You know, actually, I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I don't think I'll uh, really manage to kill them, 
But uh, I'm going to see what kind of expectation I should have for myself when I'm trying to kill these guys. You can hit them twice with that axe, it looks like. And uh, this guy should be dead soon, although I am dying as well. There he goes. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of money from that. But now he's a lot stronger as a result of his friend having died. So I'm just going to call that good. <laughs> we got like 400 gold from that. And I'm okay with taking that and running. So let's go ahead and jump back down here. Prefer not to die straight away. And uh, this is not the direction I would like to go. So let's go back over here. No doors in that vicinity. Make our way back to the entrance. Very, very good. And there's a door straight above me as well. Let's go in this direction. Oh, hey, this looks like fun. Although I think I... Oh, no, I was just... That was crazy. I thought maybe I'd been in this room already, but I guess I was just mapping it out prior to my expedition. Now we've got a ice mage here to deal with. I got taken a hell of a lot lower than I thought I had by those uh, giant skeleton dudes. I feel like we're a lot closer to dealing with them than I expected, though. I mean, they certainly would have killed me, or the, rather the uh, second guy would have killed me for sure had I stayed in there and tried to kill him. But uh, honestly, I think after a few more upgrades, we might be able to take those guys out without too much damage. And uh, if I can play a little better, too, that'll probably come into, <laughs> come into effect. But... Um, you know, a lot of it might be due to the fact that I have dwarfism that I was able to dodge their bone throws so well, so that might have been a factor as well. Mana and health, and I'm pretty sure every time we come across these teleporter rooms, the two statues on either side are going to be uh, health and magic every time. So what we can do here is try to air dash through this. Let's go... Oh, I missed that completely. There we go. That's what we wanted to do, and uh, now we have some evil foes to deal with that I don't think I'll actually have to uh, try to attack at all. Going through the Maya, which I realize may not be the best option right now. Ooh, shurikens. That's evil. This is a doom trait. Oh, he, he can throw things at me. I don't like that one bit. Oh, and there I go. I definitely did not intend to drop down like that, but nonetheless. Sir Eric has been slain by a doom trait. Look at that giant skeleton I killed. I'm proud of that, damn it. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Rogue Legacy, guys. Next time, we will continue our lineage and try to get a couple more upgrades to get things going more smoothly. My name's Bear. I'll see you then.